Okay, we're going to get started with our gluten-free mashed potatoes. The first thing that you want to do is select the type of potatoes that you want. I selected red potatoes because of their uh, high nutrient value. They're very high in potassium. And what I do is I keep the skins on because that's where all those good nutrients are. So I'm just going to chop them in half and add them to my pot. And cover the potatoes with water. And then we're just going to put them back on the stove and bring them to a boil. And it'll take about 30 to 40 minutes to fully cook. So turn it on high. And you can add a couple teaspoons of salt to the water. Sea salt or kosher salt. Pour the drippings in the pan. Looks good. This is our turkey stock that we made from our giblets. And I'm going to pour the rest of that so we can make our gravy. Then we're going to add about one fourth cup of brown rice flour. And that's going to thicken it up into a gravy. So we've got this on medium heat. You need a wire whisk and you're going to whisk it for about five minutes until the sauce thickens up. We're going to add some kosher or sea salt, fresh ground black pepper. Okay, we're checking our potatoes. They've been boiling for about a half hour and they're nice and soft. So we're going to drain the water from the pot. It's really hot, so be sure to be really careful. We're going to add about six tablespoons of butter. And organic sour cream, which is also gluten free. And if you are lactose intolerant, they have great options for dairy free sour cream. So we're just going to add the whole container into the pot. It's about 8 to 12 potatoes. And then you're going to need a masher. And you can just mash it all together. The butter is going to melt in there real nice. Once you got it mashed down, we're going to add some sea salt or kosher salt, a couple teaspoons or more, and some fresh ground black pepper, and then just keep mashing. And it's looking pretty good. We're going to keep it hot by covering it with a lid. And our mashed potatoes are ready to go. All right, we're ready to eat. We've got our turkey, our mashed potatoes, our stuffing, and our organic cranberry sauce. Don't forget your favorite vegetables. Those are always gluten-free. Let's eat. Happy Turkey Day. Hope you enjoy your gluten-free Thanksgiving. Check out my blog if you have any questions or comments or you want to see my recipes.